<laughs> For security reasons, students at Buck Middle School of the Arts were not told who their audience would be until Madam Peng and Mrs. Trump showed up. We were sitting and waiting, and every time that door opened, we were a little nervous, like, is, is she here yet? And then when, finally when she came in, we were all just so shocked, it was crazy. When she got in the car and she said, I sang for the First Lady of the United States in China, I go, what? 12-year-old Rachel Hobbs, together with dozens of her classmates, performed the song Astonishing in front of the two First Ladies. It's a song from Little Women with a theme of women empowerment. My heart was like pounding a lot. I couldn't like breathe. It was so exciting to see them. Since they're so nervous, did you do a good performance in front of them? Yes, we did very well. This time out from the summit's great power politics delighted American school children and their parents. One reason the First Ladies chose this school to visit is because of its strong emphasis on arts. That's exactly one of the interests of the famous Chinese singer, Madame Peng. We're very excited that the girls got to perform today for both First Ladies, especially the First Lady of China being a singer herself. It was very, uh, very honorable experience for, for the girls to sing for a professional singer. Um, so I'm sure that she could appreciate um, their art and how much they've practiced. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. And we're honored that uh, the president uh, and leader of China and his wife are here visiting us. And we hope that uh, the discussions go well. In 2014, Madam Peng invited former U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama to China. Chinese officials say developing friendship between Madam Peng and Mrs. Trump has an important goal as part of the First Lady's diplomacy. Han Peng, CGTN, Florida.